Good morning, guys. It's Emmanuel once again, and then, okay, for those of us that use our our MetaMax to get to collect our CPIN, eh? for those of us that use MetaMax, our coin has not been deposited. Some have not seen their coin. So a friend, a friend just told me that eh, I can. Like as you can see right now, my coin is not here, here, it has not arrived. But me, I believe that it will arrive. Okay, me, I'm ready to wait. But a friend said that I should import my wallet to to BitGet wallet that I will see my coin. So this video is a trial video. If it works, fine. If it works, fine, I will post the video. If it did not work, I'm not going to post the video. So if you are seeing this video, that means it worked. So in order to in order to import let me in order to import this wallet inside BitGet wallet, you will need to go and get something. But first of all, let's go to BitGet, okay? So for newbies, I'm going to do some explanation here. If you, if you see there are two BitGet Two bit get, I mean two bit get here. Yeah. One has wallet, one don't have wallet. So this one without wallet is a centralized exchange. Okay, it's not the one we are going to use. This one, this one without wallet. So this one without wallet is the one that's okay. When you want to register it, you need your ID card, you need your either BVN for Nigeria or international passport. So this centralized one, but this one you don't need anything. This is just like MetaMax, Trust Wallet, etc. So this is a we call it Web3, BitGet Web3 Wallet. So this is the one you are going to need. You don't need anything. Just go to play. If you don't have it, go to Play Store, type BitGet Wallet, and then download it. You just save your passphrase. That's your passport there. Okay. So we we tap on it. So I want to do what my friend told me. He said I should import my wallet inside this place. Okay, let me upgrade now. Let me pause this video so that it will not be long. Okay, so I'm done. I'm done with the upgrade. So let's open it. Okay, so this is a BitGet wallet with three wallets. Okay, the difference is that the other one. You need the verification. That one is centralized exchange. You can put anything there. You cannot put your money there without. You can put your money, here, but it will. It will. You cannot take withdraw without verification. But this one, you don't need anything. So this is BitGet wallet. So in order to import any wallet here, that is this thing we want to do. You will come to this wallet down here. Look at it. See this wallet down here. Let me show you. You tap on it. Okay, when you tap on it, you you will be taken to this place. So, when you are here, the next thing you are going to do when you are here is you go to this place. You see this place here? Tap on it. Tap on this arrow here. So, let's do it. Let's tap on that arrow. So, you have uh, wallet 2, wallet 1. This is wallet 1. This is wallet two. So in order to add this MetaMax here, we will click on add, add wallet, okay? So let's do that. I'll click on add. So if, if you see, you, you see that there are options here. You see create wallet, import wallet, connect hardware, wallet, use wash only wallet. So our, our, our interest is on import wallet, okay? That's what we want to do, so option two. So let's tap on it. So you are to you have two options to import. To import using mnemonic, mnemonic or private key, mnemonic or private key, then keyless. So our our interest is in there. Option one, where we are going to get our twelve seed phrase or twenty four seed phrase, depending on the wallet, or you can also use private key from multiple network okay so but we are using 12 um, seed phrase okay so we click i'll click on import now
I'll click import here. So that is what you will do also. So I'm going to put the 12 key phrase from Metamask. Okay, I'm going to show you where you're going to get it. So let's go back to Metamask. Where's my Metamask? So this is my Metamask. So up to now, my coin is not yet here. So let me refresh. It's not yet here. So let's try this. So in order to export your wallet, you go to settings down here. This is a certain symbol. If you see this symbol, you know that it's settings, okay? So we tap on it. There you have it, okay? So we have general security and privacy, advanced contact network, blah blah blah. So our this thing is you know our interest is here, security and privacy. So let's enter it. Okay, we use our fingerprint to authenticate it. So in security you have protect your wallet, review secret phrase. This is where our interest is. There's also change password, blah blah blah. So but this is what we need. So I'm going to tap on it, review secret freeze. Now when you tap on it, um MetaMax will ask you some question before they will review the secret phrase to you. It, let's read. It says to review your secret recovery phrase, you need to correctly answer two questions. So let's get started to the question. This is how you're going to do your own so that you can answer the question. If you lose your secret recovery phrase, MetaMax can get it back for you. No, you will not choose this one. MetaMask cannot help you. MetaMask can't help you. I will choose it. It will turn to green. If you choose the other one, I mean, let's go back. I mean, let's go back. So that let's see what happens when we choose the first one. So MetaMask can get it back for you. Say wrong. No one can help get your recovery free. So try again. So we we'll choose option two. Can't help you, which is the right option. So. They will say, write it down, engrave it on metal, or keep it in multiple secret spots so you never lose it. If you lose it, it's gone forever. Then we'll click on it, continue. This is warning from MetaMax, okay? Don't let anybody see your secret phrase. So I'll click on continue. So question number two, if, if anyone, even a support agent, asks you for your secret recovery phrase, you are being scammed. That is the right answer. You should give it to them. No, if you choose this one, you will still read. So we are choosing option two. You are being scammed. So you see, it turns green. Correct. Sharing your secret recovery phrase is never a good idea. Anyone claiming to need your secret recovery phrase is lying to you. If you share it with them, they will steal your assets. So click on it. Continue here. Continue. So I will authorize with my fingerprint. So. Make sure nobody is looking at your screen. MetaMask support will never request this. So once I put my password here right now, my secret recovery phrase will be reviewed. So this is where I'm going to pause the video, get my secret recovery phrase, then go to, I'll copy it. Then then we'll, we'll go to BitGuide together. So let's do this. So there is uh, something I want to show you here. So. If you hold this place after putting your password, if you hold this place steady, hold it. Once the key ran up, let me show you. Okay, let me show you small. Once the key ran up, you see, you see that key running up. That key runs up. You will see your. Once that key ran up, you will see your recovery phrase. Okay, so I've copied it. So let's get straight to bit get. I've copied it to the clipboard. So here now I'm going to paste it. Okay. So I'm going to block the video and then I'll paste it. So I have uh, I have enabled it and it is it is it is bringing in my my, my MetaMax wallet right now. So let's see if it will work. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is my MetaMask wallet. Yes. Let me see the wallet address. 
yes that is my meta was for well, like yes that is it so let's go down and see if it worked where is my c pen token let's see is there c pen here manage token uh, okay I can't even see C pen here. So let me see C pen. Okay, so let's see if I can add the C pen again. You know what we do? You put it like this so let me go and copy the contract address from my whatsapp group again okay where's the contract address let me copy it again copy so let's go and see if confirm Add now C pen. Okay, so let's go back and see if it has added. Mm, okay, it has added, not listed, and uh, it still didn't come. Liquidity 1.5k, FDL 6.79 trillion, market cap 1.7 billion, maximum supply, circulating supply, holders. Wow, this big guy wallet is um, is cool. But still and still, it did not come, okay? <laughs> I made a promise that if you are watching this video, that means it came. Uh, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to release this video. I don't mind. I'm going to release this video. It didn't come also. The friend that said that it will come, it didn't come yet. So I hope you are watching this video to see that it didn't come. But I think it will come. But I think I'm going to leave it like this. I love... I love the interface of my Metamax wallet inside BitGet wallet. I love it more than inside Metamax. Metamax itself is boring, but this is beautiful. If you if you agree with me, having it here is beautiful. Just look at once I tap on it, it will give me so many details about about CPEN. So many details about CPEN. Okay, the token, the liquidity. The market cap, the maximum supply, the circulating supply, the holders. Ah, I love it. I love uh, I love BitGet Wallet. I love BitGet Web3 Wallet. It's beautiful. Okay. So, guys, this is where I'm going to stop. I'm sorry. I'm going to release this video. I said earlier that <laughs> if you're watching this video, that means it worked well. I'm sorry. It didn't, it didn't work automatically, but I know that they will send me my, my token. At the appropriate time they will maybe when they do i will still make another video okay so that is it if you have learned one or two things please subscribe okay and turn on the bell notification and i will see you on the next one have a good day guys make sure you subscribe oh, subscription is free bye